A ten-ton monster is destroying their home. A child is falling. If his mother's hand misses by one inch, he's dead. For three episodes, we've watched our ancestors learn to walk upright, form bonds, and adapt to changing climates. But here, 3.5 million years ago, they face their hardest test yet. Because in the Pliocene, survival means one thing. Finding shelter before nightfall, or becoming prey. If you're new here, welcome to episode four of our journey through deep time. We're witnessing scientifically reconstructed moments from human evolution based on fossil evidence and expert research. Episodes one through three showed you the rise of upright walking. Now we see why that mattered. Because when you walk on two legs, your hands are free to carry tools, to throw stones, to fight for shelter. And today, they'll need to fight. Dawn on the African plain. The band, 14 Australopithecus afarensis, sleeps in their grove of acacia trees. Three mothers with young, two adolescent males, a scarred elder. Then the ground starts shaking. Dinotherium, six adults, downward curving tusks built for stripping bark and destroying anything in their path. The band explodes upward, 